I think we're live. We are. It says up on the corner. Okay, good. Well, hi. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. So Nicole might join us. Okay. She's got, um, her little kid's home kind of, you know, all over the place. So we know how that is. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm happy to have you here with me again this week in our in our, show, our live with Disruptive Nutrition Show. I feel like we're like Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> I love it. You're right. We don't need to be in a show anymore. It's like Kelly and somebody. Isn't it Kelly and like Ryan Seacrest or something? I think it's Ryan Seacrest now. Yeah. Oh, no. Wasn't Michael? Oh, no, because Michael Strahan left. And he went to, man. Peter and I were trying to figure out his name the other day. Um, what is uh, the morning show that you watch in the morning? Um, I usually don't, but if I do watch something, I'll watch the Today Show. That's what I do. My go is like, we work out at 545, and then at 7, I come up and throw it on while we're making our shakes and stuff like that. So, yeah. No, usually I'll right, ask so. Alexa. <laughs> What's like going I, on? Yeah, she's programmed to, if I say, you know, Alexa in the morning, she's programmed to, like, tell me all the headlines. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so that, all of you watching, yeah, I want to so. know what you watch in the morning like what's mm -hmm. your morning show that you watch you know like what is it so i'd love to hear okay so this week deb we are talking well this whole month we're talking about mindsets and last mm -hmm. week we really dug into our why and i love how you shared the it was about the journey not the destination and we're yeah. always so focused on the destination and not being there yet as opposed to recognizing how important the journey is yes. and establishing yeah. why why we're doing Things. And I think it actually prompted lots of discussion. I got lots of messages from people kind of sharing some of the things with their why and stuff like that. And this week, we're going to dig into mindsets more, but we're going to talk about something that's, I, I think, misunderstood. And I'm really excited to clarify it. But before we do, I'm yeah. going to tell everybody if they stay to the end, and we're not going to be on that long, maybe like 10 minutes or so, let's try. I'm going, to, I'm going to say a secret word, a secret code, and I'm not going to put it anywhere else except in this live. And if you know the secret code, then they're going to get a special gift that only, we literally will not put it out anywhere else. Okay. So, okay, that will be fun, right? It will be fun. I like that. And then they have to send me the secret code, and then I'm going to send them the special gift. Okay. Now, what happens for people who watch it on the replay? Yes, then it's good for them too, yeah. okay? You just gotta stay to the end and watch it. You don't have to watch it live. Okay, so um, we're talking about this week around the concept of simple versus easy. Okay. And what do you think the difference is, Deb? When I say like simple versus easy, like tell me what comes to mind. Well, simple um, would mean that there aren't too many steps that you have to take in order to, um, like achieve whatever it is that you want to do. That to me would be something that's simple. Um, sometimes I think though that easy, I always think of easy as like taking the easy way out. So like taking the path of least resistance where I okay. think sometimes simple does have a little bit of path. To it. I'm going back to the whole path thing again. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, I think you're right. So like, if we think of the opposites, right? Simple opposite is complicated. Correct. Right. Easy. I think opposite would be you're, you're an English teacher. Opposite is hard. Hard. Right. Yeah. Yep. Not, right. Okay. So I think that there's a lot of confusion sometimes when we talk about simple versus easy. Yeah. So let's, let's start with that. So we got to get our heads right on that. One of the things that I hated about dieting, one of the things that I hated about my life back then was that it was all so complicated. It was complicated because I didn't know what was right or wrong. It was complicated because I tracking macros for the day and my calories for the day set my mind spinning. Mm -hmm. right? The concept that we teach is simple. Yes. And, and I think it's about life being honestly simple. I think we overcomplicate a lot of things when I think certain things can be pretty simple. Uh -huh. Our concept is simple. We eat a protein, fat, and carb every three to four hours. That's it. That's literally it. Okay. Why, how, all of that is part of that simple idea. Yeah. But simple doesn't necessarily mean easy. And I think a lot of us in a mindset are like, 
if this gets to be a little hard, I don't want to do it. Right. Like, let's talk about strength training, for example. Congratulations, by the way, Miss Certified <laughs> Trainer. I feel like you could do some workouts with us. I'm uh, super excited. I know, excited. I'm so excited. I've just got her certification, so she's 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 now fully more certified than me on, on all the things, health and health. I'm super, super proud of you. But when we think about strength training, we yeah. could get really complicated, but if there's some simple basics around strength training, you have to lift heavier to be, yep. you know what I mean? And, and, and almost uh, one concept that I love that our guest coach always talks about in our membership group is how you want to get to failure. Yes. When you can't lift something anymore, you're actually doing the right thing. Failure is good, right? Yeah. Simple. Easy? Heck no. Today nope. was heavy day, leg day, heavy day. No nope. super simple, a, a, super simple workout. Yeah, not easy. Right. So, but I needed to do the hard to get the results I want to get. Yeah. And usually you do have to get the hard in order to get the results that you want. Sometimes you have to go through that little bit of hard and push through it, which is why you have to have your why defined. So when you do come into those hard times, you can push through those hard times and say, there's something greater here than, than, you know, what, than just losing weight. I, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think about our process and our program is very simple. It yeah. really is. I do don't think that it's hard, but I also don't want people to think it's just easy. Oh, look, I'm just going to eat what I think is a protein, fat, and carb, and boom, all the things are going to melt away. I'm going to have my skinny, happy life, right? right? That isn't it. This is still about discipline, consistency, patience, being intentional with our time. That to me is still simple, mm -hmm. but not easy. Right. What is like a Sunday look for you? Every Sunday, Deb, what does that look like for you? So every Sunday I sit down, I have like a giant recipe book. I have the meal cards. I have a whole bunch of resources that I use. And I kind of think about and plan out for the week. Like what are the meals that like, what do I feel like eating this week? Um, do I want to go super, super simple, meaning like just pulling together, um, you know, so like a tray of chicken and things like that. Or do I want to make a recipe, which might be a little bit more complicated, um, but quite honestly, none of our recipes are that complicated. Um, but they, if they do take a little bit more time to prep them, but you then have, a, you know, more, at least for me, since it's, you know, typically me and my son eating, I have more portions that I have available to me. Um, so I'll go through that and I'll make up my list and I'll go to the grocery store um, and then I will prep my food for the week because I want to make sure that I have even, um, you know, even if I'm doing baking a tray of chicken, I portion out my chicken just because I think it's easier to portion everything out because then you can have um, your grab and go options. Like if I want chicken and carrots and hummus, I just put that, pull that together. Um, like yesterday, I went over to my mom's for the afternoon and I just pulled together a couple of things, threw them in a bag, but everything was already prepped. Um, and I so think you just said the word easier, right? Like it was easier for you yes. once you did that work. Yeah. So like, yeah. this is simple. It's a simple formula. It's a simple solution. It simply works when yeah. you know it, when you learn it. But it, I always say it's simple, but not always easy. And we have to wrap our mindset around that. Just because it's simple doesn't mean like you're going to sit back and it's all just going to work for you. You right. still need to show up. You still need to wrap your head around the fact that in order for this simple plan to work, I got to be intentional. My Sundays have to look a certain way. Now, I have people that will show up for or sign up for Diet Disruptor Squad, and their number one nutritional challenge is like just making the time to meal prep or making right. the time to do things. And I think I get it that we don't want to, but if what we, if our why is set, then we prioritize what's important. We do. We yes. prioritize what matters. Yes. And yes. if we simply are saying, we all have the same amount of time in a week. We all do. And if we are saying, I am too busy to set aside time to figure out my grocery list or time to shop for the right things or time to sit down and like plan out my week, then what we are saying is those things aren't important enough for me. And then that trickles down to the fact is if you, you know, aren't happy with the way you look or the way you feel, it starts with that intentionality on a Sunday, right? Yeah. Like that's how simple
simple it is. But what's not easy is that ability to say, okay, I'm waking up on Sunday morning and I'm spending the time planning out my week so that the rest of my week can be easy or easy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, it, it, and maybe that Sunday is hard. And so sometimes we have this mindset of like, oh, this is too hard. I can't do it. But what we're actually saying is I won't do it. Right. Not that you can't because you do. I do. We do it every Sunday. Yep. It doesn't mean it's easy. It means we're doing the work so that this simple plan is more obtainable and becomes a habit and a routine. And now it actually is very easy because it becomes second nature. Oh, but yeah. I still have to show up. It's still a journey. It's still something I'm always working towards. But is it easier now than it was? For sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think we need to get over the fact that everything has to be easy and feel good in the moment. Like sometimes you just got to suck it up do the intentionality so that the, the things that you want can actually play out. Yeah. We, we, we can't have, have it all. Like my, my daughter, my 15 year old wants money for a car. Mm -hmm. She yeah. wants to save money. We did the math about how much she has to work and how much she has to make. And yeah. it breaks yeah. down. She has a why you're right. Like she breaks it down, but when it comes down to it, she doesn't show up to do work, right? To make money to yep. do it. So she keeps thinking nothing works. Uh, it's too hard. W recognize it's going to be a little hard. Yeah. Right. If we think it's going to be easy, then when we have to show up and do it, when we don't want to, it's going to feel really unobtainable. Right. But and we have to walk into it knowing it's going to be hard, yeah. knowing it's going to take work, knowing it's going to be intentional but always with our eye on what it is. Now, the best part about it is that it's simple. Yeah. You, once you learn, you don't have to overthink this, but it doesn't mean you don't have to intentionally show up. Right. This is not tracking your food for the freaking day. This is not, you know, prepping for three hours at a, at a time. This yeah. is not being able to not go to a restaurant and know what to eat. It's so simple. You can do all of that. Yeah. And you have to have the mindset that I have to be intentional. Right. Like it's for example, I'm not going to do it itself. Oh, I'm going out to um, dinner tomorrow night. Um, they, you know, there you have, we now have the uh, ability to do outdoor dining, which I still find a little strange, but you know, like the whole process of it, I'm still not totally comfortable with, but I'm going to do it. But I looked at the menu to see what they had, because for me, that's not going to be my appreciation meal. I always make sure that I'm like intentional about when I'm going to have my appreciation meal. I don't want it to be tomorrow. So I looked at the menu and I wanted to think about like, what am I going to order? So I really can kind of like, you know, just think about what it was. And I found like chicken and vegetables was something else. And, and so um, I was being intentional about what I um, wanted to do, that it wasn't going, that it was just going to be a regular meal for me, but I was still going to go out to dinner and enjoy it. Um, and so you have to be intentional that way, easy, or that way as well. Did it, it took me, you know, three minutes to look at a thing. Um, but I needed to be intentional about that because I didn't want to, you always talk about like, when you go out, make sure that you go out with the intention of like, what is this meal going to be? Is this going to be my appreciation meal? Is this just going to be a regular meal? What kind of things am I going to order? So. And I, so I think when we talk about not dieting, I think some people think I should be able to go to a restaurant and eat whatever I want because Carrie says we don't have to diet and it just has to have protein and fat and carbon and, and, and then that's it. It is simple, right? But yeah. again, what you just said, it has to also be intentional. You can't just go hog wild and think that you're still going to meet your goals. Right. But is the program, is the plan, is the approach simple? Yes. Can you go out to dinner? Yes. Can you go to yeah. dinner every day? Yes. Yeah. You need to know what you're doing and be thoughtful and intentional about it. It's just like work. You would yeah. never show up to work without some sort of intentional plan about what you are doing. You have goals. You have tasks you know what you have to get done you're right. not just like flying by the seat of your pants your health and your body deserve that same level of intentionality the key is that it's got to be simple yes it's got to be really simple or you're not going to do it it's got to be satisfying it's got to be sustainable or mm -hmm. you're not going to do it but get our heads wrapped around the fact that we deserve the time and it's necessary to be intentional around what we're doing. Just because we're doing this doesn't mean we don't ever have to think about it anymore. Doesn't mean right. it's still gonna be a journey. Doesn't mean it's still not gonna be hard. It mm -hmm.
It just means we're not depriving our body of food. We know how to fuel it correctly. We don't feel deprived. We don't have our sugar cravings. That to me is amazing because it's so simple as to how we do it, but I still have to work at it to yes. make it happen. Yeah. But I with don't. anything, you know, anything that's worth doing requires a little bit of work. Anything that you really want, you do need to work toward. You need to put in the time, right. but really it's showing up for yourself. It's taking that, um, you know, really putting yourself first, which I know sometimes as moms and as women, it's just hard for us to do. Even dads sometimes have a hard time like putting themselves first. But when it comes to your health, you are the only person who is in control of that. Um, Andrea had posted something that was great in um, yes. the Diet Instructor Squad. It was so powerful. And it, it really, it, it's like you are the only person, like, you know, you're the only person who can make those decisions for yourself. And you need to make those decisions for yourself and say, I am enough and I am worth it. And that's a really important thing and too. I get to do this. Yes. I get to have the time to myself on a Sunday morning to plan out what I'm going to do to fuel my body and my families. Yes. I get to do that. And then I get to give my husband the grocery shopping list in terms of what he is going to do. <laughs> I get to do that because you know what? The plan is simple and I know what to do. It's yeah. not complicated. I'm not questioning it. I know exactly what to do, why to do it and how to do it. Yep. Now I have to do it. So I don't want people uh, making it feel like just because I, I know all this stuff doesn't mean I still don't have to work at it, right? Exactly. I still deserve it and need to. So simple versus easy. And when we walk into something with, I need simple, and I'm willing to work at it. Mm -hmm. That is the formula for success. So you're not going to peel off your 40 pounds just because you learn PFC and you do it once in a while. You do it when it feels convenient. You mm -hmm. do it because this is what works. This is what you need to do. And because you're working at it. Mm -hmm. But and it's simple. Consistent. Yeah, you have to be consistent. So we're going to keep teaching about this all week long. I know all of our coaches are going to be posting and sharing about this. One way that we really have developed something that is super simple for you is our 101 simple PFC meals, right? I love this resource. <laughs> 101. They're like little cards. Mm -hmm. You can cut them up. You can print them out twice, cut one up, print one out. And this is where, okay, simple. We literally laid it out for you. We gave you really a, a, a pretty general good portion size for women. Yeah. Um, yeah. And tell you how to ch turn it into something that would work for men. Yep. And literally it's simple. Now, what does it mean? It means just because you picked out your PFC meals doesn't mean it's going to show up in front of you. Right. You actually have to do the work to get those grocery things to, but it's simple because it's laid out for you. You mm -hmm. don't have to think at all, but you do have to do. Right. So, so here's the thing. I have a secret code for you and I've only done this once before on Black Friday. Because this is our oh, most popular resource. A Black yeah. Friday, I, I, we gave it for 50% off. Yep, I remember and that. I've never done that again. But for those of you that are watching this, if you want our 101 simple PFC, everything is no more than five ingredients. Most of them are three ingredients. Mm -hmm. Again, they're portioned. It's great PFC portions. You have to message me on Facebook or Instagram. Send me a personal message with the code MINDSET. That's your secret code. When you message me mindset, I'm going to send you the special code to get the PFC, 101 PFC meal ideas at 50% off. We are going to offer it to everybody this week only for 20% off. Mm -hmm. But for you, with the code mindset, you message me, I will send you the secret code for 50% off. It will expire on Sunday. So mm -hmm. you have until Sunday to watch this. Okay. 50% off. So it's $19. It's already super affordable. Yeah. And it's going to be half of that. Yeah. That's like going to Starbucks. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a hundred and one, like you can literally just plan mm -hmm. those out for a bunch of, those aren't recipes. They're no. just grab and, grab and goes. Yeah. And there's, and there's fast food restaurants there's in there. There's fast food ones in there. There's a couple ones in there from Starbucks too. So, you know. <laughs> we have healthy and correct. Yep. or not so healthy, but still correct. Yep. And right? there's challenge compliant ones too, for those people, you know. That's what I mean by healthy and correct. Yes. Sorry. Like four, yep. four weeks to wellness. Yep. Those of you that are in the four weeks to wellness, you already have this for free. Right. No. Yeah. 
You don't need this. Okay. No. But if you're not, and you want this mindset, 50% off, send me a message and I will send you the code. So I would love to hear from people about what they thought, what, where their um, kind of thinking is around simple versus easy and how no matter what you do, if you want to be successful, it's not going to come easy. I always say to my kids, God did not allow you to get wherever you want to be by just showing up. You got to show up and do the work. And that's true in school, in work, in life, in health, in nutrition. In I don't think that we're blessed unless we actually show up and do the work. Yep. So. All right. So send me, send me a message if you want the special code. Deb, go enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. You too. Yes. I'm excited. We're going um, to upstate New York today. So we're going to take a little road trip. Oh, fun. Have fun. Yeah. yeah I'm excited. All right, guys. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.